It's hard to leave the house when your driveway looks like this. One elderly woman tells us she was trapped for weeks by this unfinished construction project. So CBS 2's Marissa Power called the city to track down some answers. Marissa. We'll take a look at this. We're in that driveway right now. This unfinished business has left a massive gap going down several inches. And here's the kicker. Just feet away is another gap right there on her sidewalk. Three times a week, 85-year-old Arlene Wilder heads off to treatment. Her kidneys are failing. It's hard for her to stand. She has to use a walker. And just outside her home is another problem. I'm kind of at a standstill. I'm, I'm exasperated. This jigsaw puzzle of tarp and dirt is a driveway. She cannot come out her front door because there's um, all kinds of debris here. There's a section missing here. She cannot. She would have to walk on the grass. Neighbors say it's been like this for three weeks. An eyesore, a nuisance, and a hazard. I don't know why this section of concrete was broken up and framed, and then the contractors just left. They never came back the next day or two days later to pour the concrete. I, I don't understand why not. The work originally began to fix a crack in the pavement. The city tells me this project is supposed to add improved accessibility, but now Arlene can't even get to her car at all. Her car is held captive now. She can't get out. And within hours of making calls to the alderman's office in the Department of Transportation, we came back to Arlene's driveway to find a contractor knocking on Arlene's door to pick up where they left off weeks ago. Oh, I would like to have my sidewalk the way it was before. Even, even when it was correct, it was better than this. <laughs> CDOT says the icy cold weather recently is partly to blame for this. They add that there are roughly 35 sidewalks around the city pending completion because they just couldn't pour the cement in the icy cold conditions. Live from Garfield Bridge, Marissa Parra, CBS 2 News.